Welcome to Gaia's Love, a podcast to guide you home into your human journey here on Earth. My name is Vivian Gerard, and it is my delight to co-create with Gaia and share our messages from Source in this now moment. Here we go. Episode 499, 499, (laughs) the number takes my breath away. We are coming to you on a Friday afternoon here in Cincinnati. It is beautiful, sunshiny, calm, peaceful. The leaves have all fallen off the trees. The seasons are about to change. We are post a new moon in Scorpio, pre a full moon in Taurus, and less than two weeks away from Pluto moving into Aquarius. There's a lot of energy that is moving in different directions, and we can feel it, understand it, sort of, (laughs) with our minds, but we can't always put our finger on it or name how layered all of these shifts in energy are. So this is a time, unlike any other time, if you have never followed astrologers before, this is a time to find astrologers that you trust and really listen to what they are sharing. This year and next year are such pivotal years for all of humanity. (laughs) This is gigantic what we are moving through. And I continue to find that astrology guides me. It names some of the layers and helps my mind soothe my body. It clarifies what's next for my soul. And I don't feel quite so adrift. If you are looking for a few astrologers, a couple that I would recommend immediately, Scorpio Root on Instagram, my friend Nicole. Astro Butterfly has a website also on Instagram, I think on Facebook. There's one called Jessie Eccles, Eccles, I think E-C-C-L-I-E-S, I think that's how you spell her name. She is also on Instagram. My friend Ale- Alexandra Astrology, you can find all of them. If you go to my account on Instagram, you'll be able to see who I follow and you can just go through all the astrologers and pick and choose. Forever Conscious is a great one. There are so many talented individuals. My friend Deb, (laughs) I don't think she's public though, Deb Aura, A-U-R-A, she's in Australia and is also just so intuitive. These astrologers are showing us a pathway into what is happening next for humanity. A quick summary, there are, I believe, seven outer planets and all of them are changing signs next year. I think I said that right. There are five planets this month that are changing signs and two that are changing directions. There is a lot of momentum happening and we can feel it in the collective energy but when when we don't have structure or context to make sense of it All of that energy we feel often just makes us wobbly. It doesn't ground us into our power and our knowing and help us clarify like, okay, if this is what the astrology is saying, then this is the direction for me to move. Which leads me to the title for today, The Wayfinders. If you have not yet seen the movie Moana... (laughs) This would be the nudge to go watch the movie Moana, like this weekend. (laughs) There is a second episode, I believe, coming out over Thanksgiving weekend, and I cannot wait. It is a beautiful Disney movie, if you haven't seen it yet, that follows the story of this young girl. She is the daughter of a chief in an island in the middle of the ocean, and her island is suffering 
the crops are running dry, the water seems to be contaminated, there is a sense of desperation and panic that is growing with the people of the tribe, the villagers, and the chief doesn't have an answer, and she is the daughter of the chief, so she is, I believe, the next one in line to run the show. She decides to listen to her wise grandmother, and she leaves the island after she finds out that she comes from a heritage of wayfinders, those who go out into the unknown and chart a new course. And she goes on a big adventure. Moana is the main character. She goes on a big adventure. And it's all about finding her power, trusting her own intuition, discerning who's actually going to support her and help her, and then staying true to herself no matter what shows up to try to deter her, to stay true to what she knows needs to be done. And then, of course, because it's a beautiful Disney movie, things seem to go her way after a while. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it, but it was such a beautiful, inspiring movie. And the images of the water, the ocean, the trees, earth, like the way that the consciousness, the purity of earth is portrayed is so beautiful. So if you haven't yet seen Moana, this would be a nudge to watch it. Why is that relevant? The, the movie really centers around this theme of trusting in the unknown, knowing that your intuition is showing you something that has not yet formed. There are lots of scenes in the movie where Moana holds her hands up to the sky, as the demigod teaches her to do, and she places the direction she's meant to go by the angle of how the stars match her hand and that's how she learns to compass herself to guide herself and when she trusts that she goes to exactly the place that she needs to be so they call her and her tribe that she comes from wayfinders the ones who go ahead and find the way so that all of the others can follow in that wake of energy, in that momentum, that movement forward, and create a new world, create something different. Do you see why that is relevant at this time on our planet? <laughs> As Pluto moves into Aquarius, why perhaps Wayfinder would be a really good energy or theme for us to tune into. <laughs> when we are Wayfinders, we know we know that inside of ourselves. And I love how the movie Moana shows that. She knows she's a wayfinder. She knows that she sees things and knows things that other people don't yet. And it's not like a superiority thing. It's a leadership. It's a, a gut compulsion to move in a certain direction that nobody else can tell you is wrong. You know what you know and you know you need to move in that direction. And when we are wayfinders, we call in guides, spirits, energies that support us in staying in alignment with how our intuition is working. For Moana, it's her grandmother, and then all of her little characters that travel with her. <laughs> but her grandmother's energy reflects her back to herself. There's a beautiful scene in the middle of the movie where she's she's giving up she doesn't even know what to do and the grandmother shows up in her spirit form and asks her who are you who are you and she sings Moana sings the song I am a girl from the islands I am the daughter of the village chief she knows who she is she knows why she's on the planet and what she's supposed to be doing but that reflection from her guide it steadies her, it strengthens her, it puts her back on her feet, and she's realigned, re-centered, motivated, like, okay, let's go. Let's do the thing. We call in guides when we are wayfinders who show us, who remind us, who activate us to come back into alignment with our intuition, to trust the next step, to clarify what the next step is so we can trust the next step 
to take the inspired action to make that next step come into reality. We build that. We do that. When you're a wayfinder, nobody can tell you the way. Nobody can do the thing for you. You are meant to lead that path. You are meant to trust your intuition, act on that, and then others follow what you are creating, the direction you are going. A wayfinder is not a follower. They are the leader. And that's who I call towards me, wayfinders. It's brilliant. <laughs> I wanted to drop a swear word in there, but <laughs> I'll keep it clean for the podcast. It's really pretty cool. It's actually more than cool. It's amazing. I love when I'm in alignment and these things start to show me I'm in alignment and then another wayfinder shows herself or himself. And I'm like, oh, yes, let's go. Let's do the thing. I also call these soul reunions when the contracts, the agreements that we have made as souls with other souls to show up and to bump into each other, to nudge each other into the next phase of our growth, our evolution, our journey. And then the soul reunions happen. You feel it. You know it. It's like this buzz of electricity that moves through your body. You're like, oh, let's go. <laughs> let's do this thing. <laughs> we are... In the final phases, weeks, days of Pluto wrapping up in Capricorn, a cycle that started in 2008. As we move into Pluto and Aquarius, I believe we will have more and more soul reunions. The speed of our soul contracts bringing us together, showing us how to collaborate, how to find our communities, how to activate each other. I believe the speed of that is going to pick up because it's time to move now. We've destructured a lot of the structures, even if it doesn't look that way. Even if on the surface, as you look at the world right now, you think nothing has changed. It's all the same as it was. It hasn't stayed the same. People are different. The consciousness of our planet is different. The activation in the wayfinders is happening more now than ever before. And so the speed is going to pick up. And you're going to find those souls that you're meant to reunion with coming towards you faster and faster. And when a wayfinder and a wayfinder find each other, <laughs> there's a like, <laughs> that happens. This spark of activation, this catapulting each of us into the next version of ourselves. It's like an electric ping or buzz that jolts you. And when you're pinged by someone who, as a soul, you agreed to have come ping you, you can't unping anymore. <laughs> you can't not be pinged. It's like you've, you've been zapped. Okay, so now you have to do something because you can't go back to forgetting or to not having that activation happen. And the pings are going to speed up. which maybe for some people feels exhausting or you want to push it away. Well, you came here to this planet at this time because there's something amazing you're supposed to contribute. We have had many lifetimes of just coming and learning and experiencing being human and learning the skills and exploring the concepts. We've had many lifetimes of doing that. If you are watching this video and listening to my voice give you this message, it's because you're a wayfinder and you're here to start showing people the way. And you can't do that if you keep hiding, if you keep staying small. <laughs> if you get pinged and then you pull the cover over your head, you're like, that did not just happen. <laughs> I was not just pinged. Nobody's zapped me. I'm going to close my eyes again and pretend it didn't happen. No, this video from me to you, this audio is saying to you, you have been pinged. <laughs> you have been tapped by the soul to the soul that you are a wayfinder. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Doesn't that light you up inside? It should. It should because 
you found this video so that you could remember, so that you could validate for yourself, so that you could feel that knowing, that aliveness, the vitality inside of yourself. But said, I already know this. She's not telling me anything new. I just either haven't believed it or I have forgotten or I've been like in the movie Moana so beat down by it not being the right time yet or not being the right situation or the energy on the planet wasn't right or blah, 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 blah. All the reasons. You're like Moana out in the middle of the ocean doubting everything. Here I am, just like the grandmother. <laughs> She's a stingray. I'm a video. <laughs> I come to you through technology. This is Pluto and Aquarius. I meander my way through the airwaves, through the video, through all of the routes of energy so that you receive this message from me. You are a wayfinder with purpose. It is time to step into your leadership. And if you don't know how to do that, reach out to me. Connect with me. Look up Wayfinder, watch the movie, <laughs> sit and meditate, journal, go walk in nature and ask God, the universe, the trees, the sunshine, the wind, the waters, ask the elements, ask Gaia, why, what are you here to be doing? If you don't know, this is the time to clarify. If you do know, this is the time for action. Now, we need Wayfinders to start showing us the way. And there's not one way anymore. There's not one way for one country or one country's way that's right for the whole world. There are multiple ways, many ways. And those who are wayfinders are meant to lead their tribe. And the tribe will find you as you start leading, as you trust the way that you are being guided. And when the tribes follow the wayfinders, the solutions we need for our planet will happen. The shifts that we need in consciousness will evolve, move more rapidly than ever before. All of the issues that we struggle with that create so much pain and suffering on this planet that we endlessly loop about how to solve and we fight and we kill each other and we tear each other down over these issues there's so many of them. The solutions haven't been brought all the way forward yet or haven't been trusted enough to be the solutions yet because we don't have the right energies leading the way. We don't have big enough communities that are gathering to say, I take a stand for this, this issue, whatever it is. In my book, I talk about poverty hunger, war. As wayfinders step into our purpose, our alignment, our soul's journey on this planet, the solutions will form because the communities will gather and the solutions that communities co-create when we are in alignment are so much stronger and bigger and greater than one individual trying to solve it on their own. We unite around a common belief that it can be done with the leader in that belief who is holding steady, who is saying, I know, I know it can be done. I stand here firmly in my power and we're going to work on this until it's solved. People magnetize to that steadiness, to that heart space. It's bigger than the individual. It's solution-based, it's inclusive. It's heart-based. Moana's mission was to find the heart, to put the heart back into the earth. I think we have a common goal we could all unite around. To activate the heart of humanity, not just little pockets of it, the heart of humanity that cares so much for each other. It's beyond countries or race or gender or sexual identification or age or wealth or lack of wealth. 
It's a heart for being human. It's a heart for the well-being of all humans. It's a heart for humanity that respects the earth. That treasures the experience of being human. Do we remember <laughs> what a gift it is? To be a soul that is able to take on human form? Not all souls get to do that. And certainly not at this moment on this planet. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of us. But there are so many more souls who would absolutely be in awe and wonder at the gift of being alive in a human body right now on this planet. And yet, we're so locked into our systems, our beliefs, our ideas, our limitations, that we don't even treasure the experience of it. So this Wayfinder, me, Viv, I stand here and say, let's remember. Remember why we came here. Remember that we desired so much to be here that we agreed to come and fulfill these beautiful contracts, purposes. Now we're here. It's time to do the work if we haven't yet. It's time to stand up and show the way and to not doubt it and to stop looking at other people to see how they're doing it. And if they're doing it this way, just stand in your power and be the wayfinder that you know you are. If it feels lonely, find other wayfinders. Come join my Insight Timer community. I am gathering <laughs> lots of wayfinders. Maybe we don't all know it yet, but we're wayfinders. <laughs> That's who I'm calling towards me. Book a session with me. I'll look and tell you exactly what I see. I will call out what I see. You will have an activation that you have, I don't even know been craving but terrified to receive <laughs> and then you'll be so delighted it is so oh god it's so good to be seen for your beauty your power your magic your gifts why are we so afraid of it this is the time whatever you feel guided to do stand in your power and do it And then let's see where we go from here. So, <laughs> that is what's going on in my space right now. <laughs> there are lots of changes that are being made in my work, in the way that I share my gifts. I don't know if I have all of it in any sort of step-by-step -step logical thing that I could tell you. <laughs> Here's what it looks like. But I'll give you the, the frequency of it. The Actually, can I do that? Can I give you the frequency of it? Not yet, because we're still not in Pluto and Aquarius. I'm still sifting, sorting through, and it's not all the way clear yet because we haven't made the transition into that energy. So I am revamping my website. I am simplifying, clarifying, what am I actually going to be focusing on for the next 20 years? And there's a lot that's going to be let go. A lot of the content I've created is going to go into an area called the library. <laughs> some of it will be free, some of it will be paid. It's in the library. It's all that I've been doing, which has been a lot. This podcast is going to take a pause. I don't know what that means, except I know we're going to celebrate in episode 500 next week we're going to celebrate it's such a mind-blowing number for me accomplishment for me the level of commitment and love and work and presence and vulnerability that I have brought into the space week after week for years is a gift in itself and so we will create episode 500 
and then pause and I don't know what that means. Sessions are being activated. They are $444 now for an hour. You claim the activation. You're a wayfinder. <laughs> Invest in what you know you are worth. Activate. And if that doesn't feel like the right next step, join my new moon circles. It'll give you a taste of what it's like to be in this space one-on-one -on -one with me. It's not one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to have a community. But to be video face-to-face -face, in the live moment, in conversation, in my energy field, join a new moon circle once a month. You can just move in and out as you want to. It's $44. It's easy. Access, come in, get to know people, see what I'm all about, get a taste. And then I am rebranding the practicum as the circle. And there will be fewer levels. There will be, I don't know yet. I don't know. But it's going to be a membership for a year. You commit to walking for a year side by side. Side by side. Not me over anyone. Side by side. That is how we're going to be building community with Pluto and Aquarius. There's no one person who has all the answers. There's someone who leads to magnetize people towards us but we all do the work together. And so I will be modeling that, living that, co-creating that in the circle. And I don't know what I don't know yet. <laughs> all I did for now is open the web page. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to form it and create it, and it's going to be absolutely incredible and magical. Yeah, I am reorganizing my Instagram. I'm going to be more consistent. I'm pulling back my energy from all the other social platforms I've been trying to manage, <laughs> which has just been too much. It's been too much. I am laser focusing and aligning everything I'm doing with this direction forward. We are building a community of wayfinders, of spiritual entrepreneurs who want to do this together, who are here to create impact on this planet in beautiful, unique, amazing ways that maybe we don't even know yet, but we can feel it. We can feel it, and we're ready to start defining it, creating it, bringing it forward. And so I'm calling us together, and we'll see. We'll see where we go from here. It's so good. <laughs> it's so exciting. <laughs> I am hosting a retreat, and this is like probably the last call yeah, next week, I don't even know if I'll bring up the retreat. This is probably the last call for the retreat. Right now, I have one beautiful client, friend, co-creator, side-by-side -side partner who is going to be at the retreat with me. And I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what we are going to be tapping into together. But both of us can feel the power of it. If you know you're supposed to be at this retreat, it is a one-time only. We will only move Pluto into Aquarius once in our lifetime. So if you're on the fence and you've been back and forth, it's totally up to you. If it's too long, too much, too whatever, and you just want to tap in with us, we are going to create a ceremony circle experience on the actual day Pluto moves into Aquarius, which will be November 19th, that Tuesday. It will be at one o'clock Eastern. And it's it's going to be, I haven't created a web page or a product or anything yet. So if you're like, I want to do that, <laughs> comment, message me, get in touch with me. I'll make sure that you have the information. It's going to be $111. It'll probably be an hour and a half, maybe two hours in a circle format where we all, we're all together via Zoom. But it feels very ceremonial. It's about the sacredness of honoring this threshold that humanity is at consciously being together in one frequency one live creation that we anchor in whatever whatever is coming up for each of us individually it will be recorded so if you can't join live you can always watch it later but the <laughs> my daughter would say the chef's kiss is going to be live and I really believe when we have an appointment that is VIP to us, we can bend time and space to make it happen. 
we can take a late lunch, take an early whatever, get a babysitter, <laughs> do the things so that we can be fully present for a soul reunion moment. So if you know that that's for you, get in touch with me. We'll figure out how to get you the information. It's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. And that's as far as I've gotten. <laughs> I'm going to be in Florida at the beach in sacred ceremony in the most beautiful frequency with some of the people I adore the most. Oh, it's going to be incredible. And then I begin the next level of my work. And the places you can find me will be Insight Timer, my community space, and Instagram. So next week we will have a celebration of all that has been co-created here. But for now, this is a calling out to the Wayfinders and a heads up that things are changing for the better, for the magical, <laughs> for the most amazing. <laughs> It's going to be so good. All right. Big breath. I know it's a wild time. And we came here for this. We're ready for this. We're here to lead. So ground yourself. Do your practice. Connect with me if you need that extra oomph. And let's see where this journey is going to take us next. So much love. Thank you for tuning into this vibration of pure love. Let's take this message of Gaia's love out into all of our relationships and communities today. So much love from my heart to yours.